You are not going to believe what I got for you today. Ooh. As you could probably hear and see, yes, this call for that, this is the Lost World Remote Control Tyrannosaurus Rex. I haven't seen this, this girl in over 20 years. Not since I was just a little kid and had it in my bedroom along with so many other uh, hot toys of that era. Lost World Toys, Godzilla, uh, Super Action 8 by Playmates. Ignore that. Godzilla Super Action 8 by Playmates. The Phantom Menace figures. Oh god, this this takes me back. I, I guess I didn't even need that background because... Yeah, just, just look at this. KB Recommends. That's how you know this is old. It's mentioning KB Toys. Anyone remember them? That logo, the green jungle, the T-Rex over here that was on everything Lost World related. Remote control, four batteries, not required, not included. Mm -hmm. Remote control, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Walks and roars by remote control. Ground pounding, foot sounds, jaw stopping action. As seen in the movie by Toy Biz. Toy Biz. Interesting thing. This is one of the few Lost World or any Jurassic toys that was not made by Hasbro slash Kenner back in the day. Toy Biz actually got their start being a longtime maker of Marvel uh, superhero toys. In fact, up uh, throughout most of the early to mid 90s, that's what they were popular for most. Yeah, I know. I probably should edit that s <laughs> the score in more properly, but I don't have any software. Huh? It's a little different on the back, somewhat darker. I'm guessing it's either a prototype or a different version of it. Maybe one that because these pictures on the back of these older toys are often very different than um, the ones that are eventually released. Toy Biz toll free customer service number. I doubt it still works anymore. Use only on smooth, clean, dry, and clean surfaces. Not intended for use on carpets. Well, good thing I got that right here. That actually explains probably why this didn't work so well. I had a carpet in my room. <sighs> I always wondered what. When you're a kid, you don't really bother reading that kind of stuff. <laughs> How to install the batteries, remove screw. I've kind of done that in advance. I did not open this because it was sold as is, but it thankfully came with the box. I'm actually trying to go, I think I might actually try to keep this box, not just to keep it in, but as a display piece, because this, this is a piece of history right here. Mid to late 90s history. Hold the remote control with both hands, right thumb. Walk. So it has two two buttons, walk and roar. It's not like an RC car, a traditional RC car, uh, where you have like a, a joystick and a forward for back. It just uses two buttons to go in one direction. Um, they also had an RC, I believe I had the RC Stegosaurus, maybe the Triceratops too. Trying to remember if, um, which ones I had. Update our products and has all the same roots. May differ. Ah, see, yeah, it explains that it's not. Uh, it's different from when we final the product. Product. Universal Toy Biz, nineteen ninety seven. Oh, what a year! And just like Star Wars, there was an official Jurassic Park fan club for a few years. Since Jack uh, I doubt that's still around now, but there's plenty of sites and forums and online that have pretty much taken its place. There's no Toy Biz, Universal, or uh, any kind of website on here. Although I think by this time, Kenner had their website uh, information. By 1997, it was still very primitive, but the internet was generally available to people by then. And, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I, I know I say a lot of, they go off track, but this is just, it's like, it's like seeing an old friend again. The JPTM, it doesn't have a number like most other Jurassic toys, but it does have uh, a JP mark, the official mark of Jurassic Park, as they oop for the mark of Jurassic Park, as the ad said, uh, for years. They just say look for the official mark now, but that's because mark doesn't rhyme with world. Like a lot of uh, the T-Rex toys, the tail has a bit of a bend bending here. And unfortunately, unlike Kenner's Bull T-Rex and the Thrasher, there's no wire in here to 
straighten it out. So it's essentially stuck like that. But the flaws are really minute at best. A little dusty. Hmm. Let's see, oh, uh, looks on the left side. And I say girl, I say girl and female because this is clearly based on the female T-Rex from the film. It was hard to see because the animatronics were kept in the dark a lot, but uh, um, had the darker, more brownish color, black. So I've removed the screw in advance, so it'll be easier to... This is just going to be a testing. Let's put these four. See, hopefully. Hopefully, see if this old girl still works. For all these years. Oh. Wait. The mechanics are... They've aged a little bit. Probably not as fast as they used to be, but... They still are... Not sure if they were as loud as this back in the day. And there's no way to go back, but... Just look at it. So, I've actually got a comparison for a few things. This is, it's missing a few parts, but it's called the Net Trapper, also released from the Lost World. There you go, Dr. Grant. Let's see if we can get you up there to try and... And it's not Jurassic Park, but... Let's try to fit Mr. Jack Tenrack from Cadillacs and Dinosaurs in the driver's... Let's try to... Excuse me, I probably shouldn't have run into this here, but... Come on! Some figures from around that time period. And Ooh. Oh well. Step on it. Oh no, no, no. Uh oh. Ow. Oh. Don't tell me something happened. Ah. Uh. I think something's happened to one of the gears from the. Oh well, at least this still works. And it still. It still rolls. Come on. Pretty sure he'd be deaf at that point. Oh, well, you get the idea. And for comparison's sake. This is a newer Mattel Jeep, and it's... Hmm, that actually means it's a little closer to the that scene in the film. Let's... I'm not just... I'm mostly not just doing this to be goofy. I'm also doing it for kind of a comparison's sake, both the old and the newer figures and t uh, vehicles that could have come with the... Something like this. Got another Alan Grant over here. Let's put him in the driver's seat this time. Yeah, let's just have them both speed off. Oh god, that takes me back. That just really takes me back. Now I understand I 
someone with editing software and a computer probably could have done that a lot better, less shaky, but I just do this for fun and to really share my old memories. And it's just... <sighs> if I have any complaints or problems, it's... Yeah, the fact that one of the... Um, one of the walking, um, wheels seems to have shorted or it's stuck or it's not moving. Maybe it needs to be cleaned, maybe it needs a different surface. I'll try to see what I can do, but other than that, it still works. I mean, it still roars. And the box could have been in better shape, but that probably would have meant it would have gone for more. Because I've seen one in, like, pristine condition. Still, uh, including still sealed in the box, go for like $150. <sighs> I, I, I just, I'm sorry that this isn't not much else to say, but wow. I'm really trying to rebuild the collection I had when I was a kid of this, all the, the nice the toys that I had, just to sort of... I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Ever, I hope you enjoy, and just, peace.